Whoa, great news for GPU availability in 2022 and the RTX 40 series may be releasing sooner than you thought. Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. All right, so let's go ahead and start off with GPU availability because guys, 2022 is looking to be a much better year than 2021, especially for gamers who are looking to buy a brand new graphics card because yes, 2021 was an absolute nightmare and it's looking like 2022 is going to be actually pretty decent. And you know, if you watched my last video, you probably already know that Ethereum prices have started to absolutely plummet and have been dropping for about three months now. So it looks like if that trend continues, things are only going to accelerate and you know what, top Talking about Ethereum, a surprise, surprise, as you know, cryptocurrency mining profitability begins to absolutely plummet. We can also see that there's a bunch of various different headlines talking about how GPU availability is likely going to improve in 2022 for various different reasons. But the first thing I want to talk about is actually a post that comes from 3dcenter.org. And if you don't know, 3D Center has been keeping track of all the GPU pricing and availability, at least over in Germany for some time now. So we have a nice chart that we can go ahead and take a look at here. And if you see the chart right now on screen you can also see that yes it looks like things are beginning to improve the first thing I want to talk about like I just mentioned is that that yellow line there you can see is ethereum and like I mentioned yes it has started to absolutely plummet on top of that we can also see that that gray dotted line is the GPU availability that started to actually kind of skyrocket here and then the GPU pricing for both Nvidia as well as AMD has finally started to drop now it looks like the hill is just beginning to crest and we could be on the precipice of what could be a very large drop in terms of GPU pricing which would be a great thing for gamers and honestly guys I do believe that's going to be the case uh, so if you're someone who's sitting there looking at a graphics card right now or you're entering the new egg shuffle it might be a good idea to hold off now that being said technically yes it is possible that ethereum could suddenly skyrocket up out of nowhere depending on what happens with policies all around the world such as maybe russia will decide not to ban cryptocurrency maybe the eu will decide not to ban you know proof of work cryptocurrency maybe india won't decide to ban it uh there's a bunch of various different things that could happen that could affect the price of ethereum but just taking a look at the last few months it looks like it is likely to continue to drop meaning that gpu prices as well are also likely going to continue to drop and like i mentioned earlier Surprise, surprise, as that begins to happen, we start to see articles like this one that comes from Tom's Hardware based on a Digi Times report talking about how the substrates for GPUs are beginning to become a lot more abundant and should lead to better supply in 2022. Now, here's exactly what Tom's Hardware had to say about the matter. Quote, the Digi Times report cites industry sources are saying that additional substrate capacity should greatly reduce the shortage after mid-2022, thus helping increase the overall number of graphics cards shipped this year. Year. The report appears to be sourced from insiders at ASRock and TUL PowerColor, both AMD exclusive GPU partners. With specific reference to the companies, it is claimed that they are both buoyed by very strong graphics card sales in recent months. According to the report, the companies hope to slowly scale up their GPU shipments throughout the second half of 2022, thanks in part to greater ABF substrate availability. That will be even better for profits as we glide through 2022. And guys, this isn't the only article that I've seen talking about various different components becoming a lot more abundant in 2022. It just seems like all signs are pointing to 2022 being a far better year for gamers looking for a brand new graphics card or looking to build a PC in general as it seems like, yes, things are probably going to get a lot less expensive in the near future. Hopefully, if you're one of those guys looking for an RTX 3080, 3070, or 6700 XT, one of those cards, uh, you know, very soon, it is possible that those cards could start to drop significantly. I mean, we could be talking about a 3080 dropping from $1,400, which it was from $1,600, so going from 16, 1400 to, you know, potentially as low as maybe even $800 in the near future, making it an actual reasonable purchase. But again, we'll just have to wait and see. But honestly, guys, either way you slice it, it's looking like 2022 is going to be a much better year. But now let's go ahead and talk about the RTX 40 series, because as many of you might know, yes, it is going to be releasing in 2022 as well. Yeah, 2022 is looking to be a great year. That seems to be the theme of the video here. Uh, but if you don't know, uh, typically NVIDIA likes to release these cards sometime between like quarter three and quarter four but you might be asking the question when exactly can we expect the rtx 40 series or maybe even specifically the rtx 4080 to release and it looks like we actually have our first hint as to when that might be and this is according to the prominent leaker uh graymon 55 over on twitter and here's what he had to say about lovelace's release date quote so far i know the next gen gpu has not been delayed in fact it is not far only more than half a year is it not then below that someone by the name of 
of the chat, Virgin responded by saying, which next-gen GPU, Lovelace or RDNA 3? Last time I heard, Navi 31 is Q1 2023 and 33 is Q4 2022. Lovelace is probably September, as always, with NVIDIA, no? Then Graymon55 responded by saying, yes, NVIDIA usually announced their next-gen GPU in late August or early September. Lovelace should have no problem coming out in September. So yeah, there you go. If you've been waiting for an RTX 4080, it looks like you're gonna have to wait probably just around eight months longer. It looks like it's likely gonna be releasing in September. Makes a lot of sense to me. Like they mentioned, that is pretty typical for NVIDIA to do so. I wouldn't be too surprised if they even try to rush it out maybe even sooner, just considering that, yeah, AMD's gonna have an absolute beast with RDNA 3, and I think NVIDIA's definitely gonna wanna beat them to the punch. So whatever they have to do to beat, you know, AMD to the punch, they're gonna go ahead and do so. And don't be too surprised if the RTX 40 series ends up being way more powerful as well as so we've been hearing some rumors of uh, by people such as red gaming tech that it could be even as much as maybe even over two times as powerful as the rtx 3090 if you take a look at something like a 4090 or 4090 ti now is it going to be over two times as powerful in terms of gaming uh honestly i'm a little bit doubtful that i think it's going to be you know a massive improvement uh but i think when we're talking about over two times we're probably talking about like in terms of raw compute performance but either way you'll look at it the rtx 40 series it's coming out this year it's going to be super fast and hopefully when it actually releases this entire gpu shortage ends up resolving itself meaning that you'll be able to finally purchase a brand new graphics card that's super fast for a somewhat reasonable price but hey that's just what i think do you think that the gpu shortages are finally going to resolve themselves in 2022 or do you think that things are going to get even worse let me know your guys thoughts in the comments below and of course i'll see you in the next video if you made it to the end of the video be sure to drop a like every time you do so amd and nvidia get more stock also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.